Hello. I want to take you for a little walk in the woods with me this morning. This is the forest where I wildcrafted all my wintergreen from. Um, so I wanted to come here and talk a little bit about wintergreen. It'll be a short video because I want to keep it simple because wintergreen is a simple, wonderful herb. Um, so in this area, we're in Michigan, see it just snowed for the first time. We have some beautiful snowy covered trees. Um, we have a very long winter here in Michigan. The Native Americans in this area were the Chippewa, which, or the Ojibwe otherwise called, well, their clan included the Anishinaabe, which were the designated medicine people for all the tribes of natives in America. So what they would use that for was um, mainly digestion purposes. Like you can chew up the leaves and use them as a poultice for achy sore muscles and different things like that. But it's a very cooling uh, herb. So, you know, when, when you get indigestion, it sort of feels like it's getting hot in there. So you want to balance that with a cooling herb. All right, we'll walk a little bit here. Anyways, um, so that's the main uh, medicinal quality I want to focus on because everybody's familiar with mint being a digestive aid. And so then let's talk about the energetic qualities that I want to highlight. It's a very grounding herb. So in wintertime, everything alive, you know, has to die a little bit. It has to sort of pull itself into itself and preserve only the most important life-giving nourishing force that can keep it alive through the deep winter so it can, you know, come back into life in the spring and do what it's meant to do. So wintergreen is the same. It helps us to like connect in with our inner self, you know, and feel more grounded. So whatever's going on around us, you know, even if it's very dark, grim, messy, chaotic, um, whatever's happening, you know, if you have a good sense of grounding, then you can always come back into inside yourself and feel like you know you're going to be okay because you have a home within yourself. You've made a safe space within yourself where you're not going to belittle yourself. You're not going to make things harder on yourself. But let me tell you, that's harder to do than it seems. It's a very lifelong process trying to listen to our intuition and trying to get to a place where we are finally not making our lives harder than they need to be. So maybe this herb can be of assistance for some of us with that, you know, um, come out in a place where it grows and kind of be close to it and think about it. You can drink its tea to infuse some of that energy inside of you. Nature is always one of the, just being in nature is a way to start feeling grounded. Starts bringing your thoughts a little bit more to, oh, I'm okay with a little bit of dormancy now because out there in the world, people are pressuring you for answers. You know, what's your plan? What are you going to do? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? But then you can come outside and be like, it's okay that I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And I can enjoy it. I'm worthy of enjoying my moment right now. That's to me what grounding is about. And a little bit about what I think wintergreen can help us realize and sort of get a little bit more comfortable with the energy of 
and I'm just going to do one more all around panel of this beautiful snow covered tree forest and I'll say goodbye and hopefully I'll make another video soon and blessings to everyone. Bye bye.